Hello, everyone. Just a quick video showing uh, an order I received from uh, China. I'm just going to unbox or unpackage this uh, these micro switches that I ordered for the Raspberry Pi video game arcade that I'm planning to build. So you already saw the video with the joystick. This arrived uh, as a separate package. And just excuse my one-hand uh, use here, but I'm trying to open this package up and uh, show you what I have in here. I'm just going to cut it along here. And one second. Okay. Here we go. So I ordered three switches. And they were about, uh, I think I paid about $3 or so. It wasn't very much. They were really inexpensive. So this is what I have in the box. This bag. Let's open this up. Okay. BQLZR. Not really sure what this is. Has some information in there. And there it is there. And we'll open this as a Ziploc here. And out comes the three buttons. Okay. I don't remember exactly if I ordered red ones, but anyway, there they are, the push buttons. They have, uh, you know, decent springiness. And as you can see, if you, uh, if you can zoom in there, yep. Um, this actual button itself is just a spring and there's a clip. Uh, it doesn't have the micro switch in there yet, so what you have is the micro switches, which are here, that come separately. I hope they gave me three of them. Yeah, they did. And that gets installed in here. So I'm going to have to figure out exactly the way to mount it, but essentially it goes in probably like this or uh, maybe the other way. And when you press down, I'm sure these, uh, these tabs on the side of the button, one or both of them, most likely makes contact with this switch and activates it. So I'm going to have to see exactly how they connect in there. And then, of course, once the button is inside the, the recessed in the, in the uh, housing, right, this flange, uh, the hole would have to be just slightly bigger than this. And, and it, I'm sure this, I'm not sure how it gets in with this. This has to bend out of the way somehow. It'll probably go in like this and then bend and then go straight down. And then from underneath, you would clamp down the uh, button using this. So this would get threaded on the end here and then screw up da -da 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 -da, until it wedges um, the button, you know, between this flange and this uh, nut almost, it would be inside of the, uh, the cabinet. So I'll show you when I get to that point. But again, just wanted to show you very cheap, I think maybe two, three dollars for all of these. Uh, buttons for the arcade cabinet. I'm going to do maybe a fire A, B, and C, but I, I should have ordered more because I need also um, buttons for player one and two select, and I need buttons as well for the, uh, uh, you know, to choose, uh, you know, a start button and maybe something for pause and, and a few other things. But, you know, I'm going to get to that in a, in a bit. But for now, just the three buttons. I wanted to see what the quality was before I ordered more and the micro switches, and uh, that's it. So there you have it, just a quick review of some buttons. Another component that I need for my Raspberry Pi based arcade MAME uh, console that I'm planning to build. Thank you very much, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Okay, just a little add-on. I uh, figured out how these micro switches get inserted into the buttons. There is essentially, uh, if you can see, there are two holes in the micro switch, one here and here. And you'll notice that when you pick up one of these buttons in here, there's also two little dips, see there? One there and one there. So those two little um, pins that come out of there essentially line up with the micro switch which would be inserted like this. See, that hole there would line up with this dot, and that hole there would line up with this. And when this slides in, okay, and you just fish it in and get these to, to taps to, to flip, to fall into the holes on the other side, the red side, what happens is this part here, that red part there, 
will be in contact with this micro switch and click it in and out, just like you see here. And that's it. So there you have it. That's how you do it. Thank you. Now, one other quick note is that once you do that, you cannot slip this on anymore. So you're going to have to mount these in first in the cabinet and then install the micro switches after. You can see that these will thread over and then be able to tighten on like so, no problem. But if you put the micro switch on, you're not going to get this over anymore. Good luck. It's not going to fit over the end. So you put these in first, you put these in after, and then the last thing would be to stick the micro switches once it's already countersunk uh, in your cabinet. Thank you.